The Hubble Deep Field is an image of a very small part of the sky. It's called the Hubble Deep Field because it was taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope looks a little bit like this and it orbits the Earth. It captures uh, information from space, light from space in different parts of the spectrum. Uh, infrared, visible light and also ultraviolet. And it peers at a very small part of the sky for a very long period of time to collect an image. The first Hubble Deep Field image was taken in 1985 and since then as the uh, telescope has been upgraded they've taken further images of that same area and they've called it the Hubble Ultra Deep Field and, uh, and, and things like that. And the, the resolution is even better and they're looking even further out into space. So the Hubble Deep Field, they, they picked a very small part of the sky that has very few visible stars in it. But in their actual image, it's got 20,000 galaxies. Now these galaxies, that you imagine it's peering back through out into space, those galaxies can be anywhere through the universe and it was able to look back 13 billion years ago. So what that means is the light that the Hubble Space Telescope is seeing actually left these galaxies 13 billion years ago. And that was very, very soon after the Big Bang very shortly after the Big Bang. So it's able to actually have a look essentially at the first galaxies. So these are the first galaxies. So what was the evidence that this image was able to identify? Well firstly the distant galaxies are redshifted, which supports the idea that the universe is expanding. It also identified that these our first galaxies, the ones that are the furthest away, are the most immature. The galaxies are immature. They are irregular in shape and they are very small. So coming back this way is basically able to look at the evolution of the universe. So these are the oldest galaxies, the ones that are the furthest away. And then through the image, the closer galaxies are more well developed, are larger. So it's able to demonstrate how the universe has evolved over time. So the Hubble Deep Field provides evidence that supports the Big Bang. So the Hubble Deep Field image provides evidence that supports the Big Bang theory. Firstly, that the universe, uh, firstly, the galaxies are redshifted. So that obviously supports the idea that the universe is expanding. But the other thing is that the first galaxies, or I should say the furthest galaxies, are the most immature. So that really supports the idea that the universe has evolved and that the universe had an origin. So the Hubble Deep Field image provides evidence that supports the Big Bang because it shows that the distant galaxies are redshifted and those most distant galaxies, the ones that are furthest away, are the most irregular, small and immature and that provides evidence that the universe has evolved and that it has an origin.